welcome to another training in this training we're going to learn how to work on the MTN Hynef Flex router okay the other day we had a review of the MTN router you know, how to connect to MTN router I want first of all to discuss the overview of the MTN and a flash router so in this case we continue again um, we already connected to the MTN router so we'll log into the router for you to log into the router you must have been connected to the router through your Wi-Fi so we already connected um, let's put the default IP address 192.168.0.1 and you enter it the default page comes out okay you have the Hynefless login to Hynefless device interface in the interface it says better you put the password and we know the password I put my password and um, you have your password too uh, the default password is always admin but you can change it click on process so we are now inside the MTN router okay and merely you go in you see some beepings you have 97 messages SMS capacity is full please delete some SMS messages let's delete some SMS messages just click here okay see these are the messages i want to delete all of them i select here click on delete delete the latest messages cx i don't need all these messages so i want them out it's deleting mm, it's taking time Okay, while it's deleting, I want to tell us that um, you can also test the speed of the download, the internet speed of this router. To test the internet speed of this router while it's still deleting this, you just go to your browser, any browser type, internet speed test, click internet speed test. okay um you have the run speed test i click on run speed test it's going to test the download speed of this mtn high net flash route i want to take the download speed on which i'm working on you can use it to test the download speed of any device internet speed of any device you're on I just get the download speed okay the download speed is uh, 7.48 and uh, the upload speed is 12.2 that means um, it gives room for upload uh, the more than the download the download is exactly what you call the internet speed which is lower compared to upload speed in, in this place we shouldn't be the for internet to be fast very fast the up download speed should be higher higher okay um you say your internet speed is fine your internet connection should be able to handle streaming uh but when i connect to my phone the download speed is always high giving me about 30 point something megabit per second the internet speed is measured in megabit per second and is the download speed that determines how fast you can browse the upload speed determines how fast your you can transfer large volume of data from one from your device to another device um i need to test again let me test again and see okay still 9.92 the download speed 17.1 that means i can upload files to youtube to to upload videos to YouTube faster.
okay it's still the lady may cancel this and uh, because of our meeting uh, because of time let's just cancel it and uh, proceed with the training but just know uh, this is how to delete your messages okay this is the internet connection status it shows connected and this is the signal strength I have a high signal strength and the connection is on this is um, shows I have a valid SIM card shows I have a valid SIM card and um, presently the number of users connected to this router is three we have three number of users to this router three I have one other person working and my phone is connected and um, and the battery is 64 percent so when you look at this uh, number of users you'll be able to determine how many people how many users are currently connected to the router okay and okay let's move back to the home page okay um this is the used data this is the statistics the used data we've just used little of the data so you still have a lot okay you can set or you can click here to set up data usage limit when you click here you can determine the limit distance people can use the data in the router okay here it also describes connected devices like I mentioned you have uh, the phone is connected okay um, you have another device that's my device okay connected through Wi-Fi and you have the download we talked about and the upload that is going on here okay have the download and the upload that's going on now um let's go to lt settings I want to check the setting okay You have the connection mode, you have the uh, connections section, you have the APN. Let's check the connection mode. Okay. The connection mode is automatic. Selection. Okay, the selection is automatic. You can change it. Okay, so it does not align us to. We can't change it here. Says so it can only be changed when the modem is disconnected. If you want to change to manual, you disconnect the router, the MTM router. Okay, now we have two devices. I want to disconnect my phone. Watch this. I want to disconnect my phone from the router. Um, okay you can see it's reduced to two so you have two devices now connected my phone is no longer connected to it you can also handle parental control you can set parental control on this router we want to set parental control click on it and uh, Case devices not set key devices all keys devices will follow network access policy okay want to set parental control which many people would like to your money you would like to do money it's okay Res uh, currently there are two devices key devices not set key devices okay Now watch, if you add this 
device to kids group, you will have no access to parental control. If you add this device to kids group, you have no access to parental control. So um, this is the system I'm using is HP. If I add this to key devices, it means um, I lose my right as a parent because I am this HP. So you be careful what you are adding to key devices. This location is for key devices. If I add this to key devices, okay, it's been added to key devices. This uh, system has been added as a key device okay added as keys so with that i can implement parental control on it okay and all the settings on parental control will apply to it All key devices will follow network access policy. So anything you add to this, any key device, the access, the access policy will be applied to it. There's a policy concerning this access, like uh, no access to pornography or other areas. So that's how to we've added the device to a parental control, the second device to a parental control, and all the network access devices, network um, access policy will be applied to it. It will be definitely restricted. I will continue next time. I hope you did enjoy the training on how to add parental control to uh, devices on your MTN router. Please subscribe to this channel if you like the training. Thank you for watching.